today we are talking about a new book that is coming out. It's a collection of adventures. What is that book? Keys from the Golden Vault, a collection of heist adventures. How many heist adventures are we getting? You are getting 13, a burglar's dozen. <laughs> and, and, and I assume <laughs> Uh, and I assume there's like a there's a, a level range on all of this, right? Yes, yes. We crafted the adventures to span levels one to eleven, which is where most campaigns basically exist. So that DMs have a variety of adventures at a variety of levels that they can slot into their campaigns as they see fit. So the idea behind all of the adventures in the book is that they are all heist adventures. And instead of the traditional D&D &D formula of you go into a place and you kill monsters and you take their stuff, this heist has you infiltrating a specific location with a specific mission that is given to you by the Golden Vault and retrieving an item uh, that is called a MacGuffin uh, and then getting out of the place without triggering a bunch of security um, or without fighting, you know, the, the big guardian um, that's guarding the item or the vault uh, and that sort of thing. There's a lot of heist in a <laughs> lot of D&D adventures. Uh, it's very customary in a D&D adventure, for instance, to be hired to go after something. And that idea of stealing something without getting caught is very much in D&D's wheelhouse. And so uh, it's not a stretch then to say, well, we could do an entire book product that is based on the concept of the heist. And heists are fun. Um, it's fun to plan a heist. It's then fun to see the plans go awry, as they often do in D&D, &D. Um, whether by random dice rolls or DM machination, uh, things never go quite according to plan. But then it's even more fun to see how the heroes, the characters, adapt to the plans changing. One of the things that really sets these adventures apart is the fact that there is a player-facing map that's a handout in every single one of these 13 adventures. And the idea behind that is that this is a piece of paper that the DM is able to photocopy or give in digital form or whatever way works for them, give that to the players about the heist location where this adventure is taking place. And the players are asked to go about and find out more information about that location that would be beneficial to them breaking into the place and retrieving the MacGuffin. What security measures do they have? Uh, what are the guards patrol routes? Where do they think this thing is? Um, and it's up to the players how they want to gather that information and what they want to do in response to that information. How do they want to sneak in? Do they want to disguise themselves uh, as patrons of a, a private place that they're infiltrating? Do they want to try stealth to not be seen at all uh, in these places? Do they want to pretend to be guards? Do they want to pretend uh, to be some other uh, people who would be allowed in the place? Um, it's very open to interpretation and it's very, um, it's very geared toward what that specific play style of the group is. In terms of a genre, there's no genre that is more D&D than a heist. If you watch any movie that's about a heist, you're bringing a party together. Yes. You're trying to get loot, treasure, whatever, get revenge, but it, it has all the makings of a D&D party coming together as well. Absolutely. Uh, and it's not just bringing any old party together, it's bringing together the person who has this skill set and then the person who has that skill set so that every character that's in the party is basically good at their particular thing Although everybody's skills are different, they're all contributing to the master goal. And that's D&D in a nutshell. That's your fighter, wizard, cleric, rogue. They have nothing in common in terms of their skill sets, right. but you bring them together and suddenly they are a potent force who can achieve a great deal. Heists leverage that. And so D&D and heists are a match made in heaven. What was exciting about bringing this all together for like the writers and what type of different heists are we seeing? Because it's the fantasy genre, so not everything is going to be your regular casino. Right, yes, true enough. And one of the delights with D&D, because it's so elastic and you can, you can tell so many different types of stories in a Dungeons & Dragons campaign, is exploring that creative space. Your adventure has to be a heist. What can you do that is interesting and makes it feel like a D&D adventure? Well, there's the MacGuffin, the thing you're after. It has to feel like it belongs in a D&D adventure. Then there's the location. That has to feel like it belongs in a D&D adventure. Uh, there might be a villain who you're trying to thwart. That also has to be 
tied into Dungeons and Dragons. And so it's a creative exercise for the writer to go off with this idea of creating a heist, look at all the toys in the sandbox, and figure out which ones to choose. I was one of the writers in this anthology. I thought it would be fun if the object that the characters were after was a musical instrument. And once I decided that that's what it was going to be, the location for me just sort of fell into place. The idea of, okay, well, they're gonna to have to break into a musical conservatory in order to steal it. But why is the instrument there? Who owns it? Why is it being kept there? And what can I do with this conservatory to make it a challenge for the characters? It's not simply they can walk in and take it. That was my creative challenge. One of the great aspects of this product is we had 13 different creatives all going through this same exercise, thinking about an interesting location that feels very D&D and an interesting object that could be stolen that feels very D&D. And all the, we, we reviewed the pitches in advance to make sure there was no overlap. And so we got just a wonderfully diverse array of MacGuffins and locations from, yes, we have a casino, but in making it feel more D&D, it's a Nine Hells themed casino. Perfect. So uh, it's, not, it's not like any other casino you've seen in any heist movie. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's the kind of casino you would see in a D&D &D heist movie. For those that don't know though, like what, what is MacGuffin? Because this is something I'm very aware of because of television and film. Yes. It's that item that matters, correct? Uh, a MacGuffin, I believe that is a term that was coined by Alfred Hitchcock, uh, who uh, used it and uh, said that it's basically, it is a useless item that doesn't have anything to do with the general plot, but is specifically important to the plot. And it's a device that's been used for a very long time in cinematic history, um, but has now come a little bit more into the public eye because of various uh, heist series and uh, heist games and, um, you know, Ocean's Eleven obviously being a big one, the series Leverage being a big one. Um, it's, it's become a much more well-known um, term, but uh, I don't think has necessarily been used that often uh, in application to tabletop RPGs. Right. So that's something that we're really excited about.